sneak peek. Yeah. We're not done yet. I don't care. <laughs> it looks good. Really? It's looking really good. Whoa, let it make drawers. It's not bad. <laughs> What brought back the vest? Working in the shop. I'm a craftsman again. I'm finally getting away from executive duties. The good old days. This is the Jason people want to see. This is, people have been asking for it. I don't know. <laughs> it's big. I think we're gonna max this out at 28. Bennett's gonna make one that's basically chop it here. So it'll all lift up about five inches. We're also gonna make this a lot sexier. Looks, oh, like, yeah. looks like dorm furniture right now. Yeah, like, We're gonna do mid-century modern. Oh. Ooh. 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 We also set back the rail on the back a little bit, so it's deeper in. Okay. So hopefully you can accommodate those clamp monitor mounts. People are very upset about the possibility of us only offering one monitor mount. Right. So I hear you. What do you think of overall, Matt? I am curious, when there is one on the other side, that's gonna feel crowded. It's, I got I got long legs. Yeah, you got long, lanky legs. And so oh, I might be oh, knocking yeah. my knees on the sides of them or something, I don't know. The rest of it is all angular. So what if this was an angle instead of a curve? So you Jason's could so you could line that up. To make the thing more swoopy. It's a but French curve. It's a French curve. <laughs> French curve. That's what our accessories are. It's French curve. All the accessories, the sides. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's called design, guys. You wouldn't know anything about it. You have to modify the frame. But I could show you. Yeah, sure. There was like a piece this long, it was like out to here. So we cut this part all the way off, oh. right? So you can see where the cut line is. And then we made these holes and bolted it this yeah. way. The manufacturer that's making our frame, we're gonna send them specs. Okay. We're probably gonna make the feet flush with the front of the desk yep. to yep. give a little extra. Yeah. Probably a good reason why no other manufacturer puts fucking storage on their desk. But we'll test it. We'll make sure no babies were crushed in the making of this desk. <laughs> Are you gonna do the stylized version? Do you want me to? I sure do. All right. Do it like the French. <laughs> like the Danish. Danish. What? Where's this table from? Danish, France? Danish modern. Yeah, it's got a French curve. Yeah. It's gonna have Danish modern accent. Yeah, well, so it's American. We're just <laughs> you, take yeah, yeah. you just take everything. Yeah, we just take everything. This is American. I don't even think I've ever seen a sit-stand desk that has drawers like this that can still go up and down. I gotta get a seat. I do not think that is standard chair height. Chairs are very short. Yep, that's a chair. I think it looks ridiculous because of the stool. And Doug's a giant. First impressions, looks pretty good. Looks real good. Jason, how big is this? It's five feet? Five feet by two and a half feet. Are we offering multiple sizes? I don't know. I kind of like one size. I could see a bigger one. This this feels like a very nice we were size. Thinking about okay. stretching this out a little bit to accommodate the features that we want to put into the base model. Yeah. So this might not be the final size. We might go a little bigger. What do you think of the size, Bobby? It looks good. I mean, it looks good. Can I feel it? <laughs> feels good. I really just fucking love this. This makes me feel so a part of it. It doesn't seem big and it doesn't seem small. A Goldilocks desk? Yeah, it's spacious, but like, it's not like I look at it and I'm like, where would I put it? All right, so Jason, first thing I noticed when I looked at this was, this is the first piece I have ever seen Wormwood do that is finger jointed. Why don't you talk about finger jointing? Yeah. Finger jointing, it kind of gives that butcher block look to it. Instead of having to have full pieces of six foot or five foot wood that you laminate together like MGG toppers, you can get smaller pieces of wood and you join them like, like finger joints. The joint literally looks like this. You like glue them together. So that's how you glue up a lot smaller pieces to like save on waste basically. And it drives the wood waste. Oh. Like 30% to like 5%. Yes. It's insane. Finger jointed panels are more stable. The stability of the panel also improves. The more pieces of woods you're gluing together, they stabilize each other. This will be a very, very, very stable top. And it's very attractive. I like the yeah. profile. Bring it up. So the idea, this is going to be a modular desk. So I think the way we're gonna sell it is, you get the top with the magnetic rails. Yeah. That's like base model. The cable management box or whatever you want to call it will be a bolt-on add-on. These little cabinets will be a bolt-on add-on. And then in the cabinets, you can mix and match doors, drawers, shelves, whatever you want. So this, this entire box, this whole box will be bolt-on and come off. And that is the cable management. So on the back, yeah. they will have a magnetic rail 
Yep. And the bolt-on cable management system will not interfere with the magnetic rail. No. If I purchase the sit-stand desk base model to start, yeah. and then later on I want to upgrade to with the cable management package, I want to upgrade with storage and shelving, it'll be reverse compatible? Yeah. There, there will be mount points underneath the, the slab that those things just bolt into, and you just add on to it over time. See, that's really cool. That makes it a lot more affordable. There's no other desk you can get that it's either all or nothing. There's or nothing that can like grow with you. Ignoring the construction technique, thoughts on just like the look. I think it ties into the design points of I, pretty well. It does. I feel like the fact that you've got angles coming in and then angles coming out makes it feel almost like a mountain range. It's, it's like yeah. too geometric. Especially here. Right? Yeah. If, if these, if these just sort of had the classic like wormwood shaper, just a little touch, I think that would be more successful. Yeah. And then, this is the hard part. This is the hardest part of woodworking. Hardware selection. Uh, what is the knob? I already got it licked. Do you? No knob. I was gonna push the open hardware. Okay, so you're gonna go. So you'll push it, it'll pop open an inch or two, and then you open it up. Now, no. those are hot. I've got some goodies from Pennsylvania. Jason sent a preliminary design, and I don't love this one. This is yeah. version 1.0. Yes. Fucking huge. That's way bigger than it needs to be. I think this needs to be a... a, a yeah. A, yeah. Right. A, yeah. So yeah. Second design, which Jason came up with, and I don't know if it is going to work with this version. Oh no. Oh, it won't work there. Oh no! Now yeah, we're gonna have Here, to. Let's let's take one of these off so we can actually show this off because this is actually cool. Show everyone how easy it oh, is. Oh yeah, not hard at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is pretty swank. Yeah, I like, like I that's said, I said nice. I two ideas, like a desk mounted one with people that don't own one of our desks and also use. Uh, and then yeah. like something that really integrates. Although we just found out one major problem with the design. But I like the one that integrates into the magnetic rail. Oh yeah, yeah a couple cool. other ideas. I think what people really are gonna wanna do is clamp bullshit onto this desk. Mic stands, lighting, cameras, smartphone holders, all that bullshit. This desk, is difficult to clamp on. I had Crazy Ed design, and we're gonna have to go in the other room. You're gonna wanna get his disappointment and, and shock. This lean, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, minimum viable Jesus product. God. God. Minim steel. Minimum viable product. Yeah. This actually works on a modular game table. Yeah. So let's go look at a modular game table rail. I wanna show you this concept. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Build it. Yeah. This is a modular game table side. That's the profile. But well, this is the concept. Is an item that can slip on and then it actually clamps. Oh, sorry. Is this tighter? Give it time. There it is. So the, the challenge is, is the so it's the first idea is okay. Hold on. <laughs> it's a perfect sales it's pitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I'm coming back. The first basic thing I thought it was like, oh just make this so there's no hole. Yeah. It clicks into the magnetic rail and then you can clamp to it. Yeah. But the problem is, knock it off. is you'll knock it off, you'll break potentially the armrest off. Yeah. And so the idea is instead what you want to do is actually clamp this piece of wood. And then you can clamp stuff to this. That's the idea. Does that make sense? Yeah. Are you, in, are you, what do you think of that concept? I get the overall idea. So the idea is. I already have a couple ideas. Of a single mount? We could make it like thinner that might work with this and the desk and everything. Yeah. yeah. We need like a single, we need, a, we need an add-on for like yeah. single point mount or double mount so that people are not marring up the desk when they're clamping their shitty $30 Amazon ring light cell phone holder to it. Instead of building this crazy contraption to just put a surface here for a single clamp, what if the add-on was a rack that came in pieces that went into each side of the magnetic rail and it gave you this huge rack above so lighting could come down, boom mics could come down. Like, it would be sick. So I think we should definitely develop a product line for that 
normal consumer, and I do like the Bobby rig idea. I am pro catering to those people that are like, I'm a fucking pro, I do this for a living, I want a full rig so I can easily move and adjust my lighting, cameras, and my and my sound. What was that? What? What was that uh, <laughs> Working on my desk rig. Look at this. Look at this. I've got all the. See? And like this ring light, which, JV, have you ever used a ring light? No, I haven't. I do professional but, lighting. That's like a quick and dirty way to. It looks good. Like, I'm, I'm, like, when I turn this on, I'm like. It makes me look good. I look much better with this. <laughs> like we I should, should just attach. Them I should, yeah, the just have a ring light on the camera at all times. Like this. I look better. A ring light hat. 